Welcome to this short video on how to safely install the iTron CF Ultramax V and CF Echo 2 heat meters. Remember, you can pause the video at any time if you'd like to spend more time on a particular stage. When you unpack the heat meter, it should contain all the items you see on screen. Make sure you check that the meter supplied is the correct type for the application, either heating, cooling, or combined. Before you begin, make sure you complete the necessary checks. The system has to be flushed before you can do anything. You should also take this opportunity to check the calculator, flow sensor, signal cables, and for any electromagnetic interference. When it comes to the installation itself, you should never carry a meter by the cables. Never install a meter on hot pipes and never weld near the meter. There are five crucial parts of a complete installation. Install the flow meter in the correct side of the heating system using brand new seals and female swivel connections. The arrows on the flow meter should follow the direction of the flow line. The meter should be installed in the pipework as displayed on the calculator's front face, indicated by the display Position Supply or Position Return. There are two types of temperature sensor, Pocket and Direct. All sensors need to be in match pairs, not cut or joined and fitted in the middle of the pipework, according to EN 1434. The temperature sensors should be connected to the correct pipework. For heating applications, the hot sensor should be inserted into the supply line and the cold into the return, with the head pointing up. For cooling applications, the opposite applies. Red return, cold supply, and pointing down. Whether it's the CF Echo 2 or the CF Ultramax V, the calculator can be installed in a variety of positions. A wall bracket is included in your kit to give you more options. Once the meter has been installed, you need to check that the Specify Communication option has been applied. This will come pre-installed on the CF Ultramax V, but you may need to manually wire the option card on the CF Echo 2. The instructions will be in your installation kit. The final safety check before you switch the calculator on is checking the pipes for leaks ensuring the connections are fastened. Then secure the pipe connections of the flow sensor and the supply and return temperature sensors with a wire and metal snap seal. The final stage is to run through the installation checks on the calculator. A short push of the button will activate the display. Each press of the button will show a different display on the calculator. To display the diagnostic level on the meter, you'll need to hold the button down for around two seconds. Check the flow and temperatures are at the expected levels with no alarm showing. Once you've finished the checks, the display will go into sleep mode if nothing is pressed for a few minutes. That completes the installation process. If you'd like any more information, then visit our website. There you'll find a troubleshooting guide as well as some more handy guides that can help you with the installation process.